Hello everyone, I'm Yan Qinghe, a master's student from South China University of Technology. I'm very honored to participate in VCCA 2024. It's a great opportunity for me to learn from all the experts here. And now, I will share the latest research progress from our group to you. Today, I'm excited to share with you the topic, optimizing the Chinese soldier in noise test with anti-thetic stimuli. The Chinese soldier in noise test is an online tool for speech perception in noise, developed by Joe and colleges. It is designed to be user-friendly, low-cost, and fast, making it suitable for large-scale hearing screenings. The image on the right displays our test interface on the mobile phone. Although the Zing test has been proven to be a good tool for hearing screening, it does have a shortcomings, particularly in detecting asymmetry hearing loss. Since Zing is currently in its diotic version, listeners with asymmetry hearing can use the better ear effect to achieve lower SRTs in the diotic Zing which prevents them from being effectively distinguished from normal hearing individuals. And recent research suggests that using anti stimuli in the testing can effectively adjust this issue. anti presentation refers to a condition where noise presented to both ears is in phase, while the target sound is out of phase, often donated as n 0 pi. Listeners with normal hearing can leverage this binaural ability to achieve better speech perception in noise under this condition. And if a listener have, has a symmetry hearing, their ability to utilize binaural cues is reduced, leading to a diminished intelligibility enhancement under antithetic presentation. Utilizing this characteristic, we develop the anti basic theme and evaluated its hearing screening capabilities. This study will be as supplement to previous work. This study first recruited a group of normal hearing listeners to correct the nomadic data for anti basic theme. This group consists of 117 participants with normal hearing. Among them, 55 participants were tested twice. Then a validation study was conducted. The validation group is used for collecting SRT data from diotic and anti presentations in order to examine whether anti stimuli could enhance the screening sensitivity of a scene. This group recruited 195 participants with various categories and degrees of hearing loss, aged 18 to 59. The image on the right displays the distribution of antithetic SRT values. The antithetic SRT values follow a normal distribution. This is confirmed by the KS test. The median was minus 19 dB and the standard deviation was 3.2 dB. The cutoff value is set at the 95 percentile, which is minus, minus 13.6 dB. The standard deviation of individual SRT values was 1.2 dB. Calculator used the formula below. And this figure showed the re relationship between different PDAs and SRTs across all hearing categories. The criteria for dividing different hearing categories and the number of people in each category are displayed here. Distinguishing by cutoff point, there was a clear overlap between the normal hearing group and the other hearing loss groups for diotic thing, especially for unilateral hearing loss and asymmetry hearing loss. Right here. In the antithetic thing SRTs, the overlap is not as pronounced. Considering the influence of age, Partial correlation analysis with age as a control variable was used to analyze the correlation between SRT and PTA. Then we calculated 
the partial correlation coefficients for the combinations of normal hearing group and other hearing loss groups. This table shows the partial correlation coefficients for the better ear and poor ear PDAs. For symmetry hearing loss, the antithetic scene test did not exhibit a stronger correlation with PDAs compared to the diotic scene test. However, for asymmetry and unilateral hearing loss, Antithetic scene shows a significant correlation with poor ear PTAs. The table below presents the sensitivity and specificity of different presentations for detecting hearing loss in different ears. Overall, antithetic tends to have a higher sensitivity for detecting hearing loss compared to diotic. Conclusions The antithetic scene has higher sensitivity than diotic scene, but slightly lower specificity. The antithetic scene test shows a higher sensitivity for unilateral and asymmetry hearing loss, effectively com compensating for, for the def deficiencies of diotic scene. And in the future, more antithetic scene data will be added. And further research will be considered to explore whether antiphasic scene tests can improve the detection of conductive hearing loss. That wraps up my presentation for today. And I'm really honored to have been able to share my research progress with you all. My study is still in the early stages, so there is a lot more work to be done. A huge thank you to the VCAA organizers for putting together this fantastic academic event. It's been incredibly beneficial for me. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at the email provided below. The feedback is highly valued. Thank you.